John 8, 1 through 11. Pray to Yeshua HaMelech Yehuda. So there was this woman. She was caught in the act of committing adultery. Maybe there was a group of guys that saw her. Maybe there was a guy just plowing away in this other guy's house, just tearing it up. And he comes home and finds his wife, ah, 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 and just this guy plowing away inside his wife. And he gets all angry and goes and gets his buddies. And they all say, look, she's committing adultery. Well, I want you guys to know that in the Torah, it states that the woman should be stoned. Now, you could view stoning as having her marry a midget. But, you could also view stoning as like somebody throwing stones. But you got to remember, if the Torah talks about not a uh, low tirtzach, say with me, low tirtzach. If the Torah talks about that, then... You wouldn't be able to stone him to death. So, my view on this would be her marrying a midget. Anyways, the one without the sin cast the first stone. But I'm not, I'm never gonna like force somebody to get married. You know, like I don't want to be a, I don't want to be with a woman that uh, commits adultery and stuff like that. But you could see where they brought the woman to Yeshua, and he's like, whoa. So they're just taking it up to the most hardcore uh, aspect. And they're saying, look at this woman. She's just letting all these guys plow into her. And, uh, and the husband's probably denying, you know, like, oh, psh, I'm not running a prostitution ring. But the... Uh, but Yeshua was so righteous, or you could also say, or, that he said, let the one without Ra cast the first stone. And I mean, every single one of them had a toe Ra. Anyways, they, uh, they committed adultery by worshiping another name and abandoning Ay. For Hashem, Hashem, and Yodei Vavhe. Now, if you look, Yeshua also said that he does not yish pot. So you don't have to worry about being yish pot if you ahavta Yeshua. A nation of kings and priests.